Okay, so, uh, what year did you go to Vietnam? I got to Vietnam in, when did I get to Vietnam? When did I get to Vietnam? Uh, it was before, like, 1968? Oh, yeah. It was there. I was in Vietnam. Like, toward the start. It was, it was, uh, January or February, 1967. It was February, February, 1967. And were you drafted? No, I was in the Marine Corps. I volunteered. Okay. Uh, what, what year did you leave the war? I uh, left in um, early July, 1968. They just sent you home? I think your job was... I got sent home. I'm the only guy I know, know got kicked out of war for being too violent. Uh, <laughs> I got medevaced out... Um, for uh, mental issues, I had uh, I'd gotten flat strange. And uh, like what you read about in the paper, guys get too weird after too much. PT, uh, post-traumatic stress disorder, right? Yeah. I mean, they didn't even know about that then. Oh, really? And uh, they said it was schizophrenia, which it wasn't. Yeah. And um, I almost, um, I was known to be very dangerous. That wasn't anything like you know me at all. Yeah, yeah. And I was known to be very dangerous. Uh, I liked it when stuff was blowing up and bullets were going off. And, and uh, so my parents had taken, became alarmed at my letters home. And they took a letter they'd gotten when I'd first gotten there and the latest letter I'd sent home. And they took him to a psychiatrist and he talked to them and stuff. And he wrote them a letter saying that uh, I had become suicidal and homicidal and was just wow. like I needed to be gotten out of there like really fast. And then they took that to the Red Cross and they sent out a copy to Senator Wayne Morris's office. And the Senator's office and the Red Cross both got a hold of the Marine Corps and told them what was going on. And then um, this was in June 68. Um, so I was young. I was at a place. I was at a place way out that was on a very strategic hill, and all the rocket attacks and stuff that took place on Da Nang came from right around where I was. Yeah. And there was about ninety of us held off two regiments of the North Vietnamese Army for four months. And come to find out later that on that same hill, that see the people that lived right there, they've been Viet Cong or Viet Minh since the early fifties. Right. They had concrete bunkers and stuff in their villages to hold us off. And uh, so they had wiped out two battalions of the French army on that hill. And 90 of us held two regiments of the Vietnamese army, North Vietnamese army off in the Viet Cong. Wow. Uh, so they never took it. Wow. So it, they were, like, there's a famous quote out there, like, they're farmers by day and enemy by night. Some guys, but by that time... What happened was in January and February of 68, Tet 68, the NVA um, basically put the Viet Cong, the farmers day by day and fighters by night, put them out front on this huge massive attack they had all over the country. Well, up there in the I Corps area, which was a section of the northern part of South Vietnam, right next to North Vietnam, right. with, that the Marines had, and the Marines pretty much wiped out the Viet Cong in there because they put them together like big units, so it was unit unit battles. Right. And so they didn't have a chance against the Marines. And so after that, it was almost all us against the North Vietnamese Army. Wow, that's, that's pretty crazy. I just want to make sure my audio is working. Yeah, good idea.